So I filled in empties on Monday morning and it is now Friday at one o'clock and I have a whole bin of empties again. Um, I've been really focusing on kind of like finishing things up this week and I was waiting for quite a few things to finish. So I'm just gonna get started. Um, random, sound body, um, cotton swabs, I get these at Big Lots, you have 500 for like a dollar fifty or something. I finished the Dollar Tree Assured Feminine Wash, this stuff works just like Summer's Eve, um, I've been using it for countless years. Uh, let's see, I have a bunch of shampoo and conditioners in here, I have the Suave black raspberry and white tea color care and nourishing shampoo and conditioner i did not like these i have a love hate relationship with swab but i do like the moroccan infusion the gold bottles i always like those i don't like any of the other ones so my hair is being crazy so yeah then i finished the l'oreal color there's a little bit in here vibrancy dual protect spray it's a leave-in spray for color treated hair and it's supposed to nourish it and give you some shine and it smells amazing like this stuff is the bond.com so i have a little bit left i guess i'll finish that up this i hate that's why it's not completely finished it's the saint ives indulgent coconut milk triple butter body wash i had my parents using this when they were here it's definitely not triple butter because it isn't even that moisturizing um i don't like the smell of it it's an artificial coconut smell i love all saint ives products this is the first thing i didn't like but i got it in a kit so i only paid like a dollar fifty for it um, let's see. The Swispers Cotton Squares. These are awesome. Obviously just squares. They have a little bit of raised bumps on them. They're really good for toner. I really, really like them. Um, I have a bunch of samples. Let me, let me pull some of these samples out of here. This is a Dollar Tree product. It's the White Rain Facial Cleanser and Makeup Remover. I've used this several times. I love this stuff. It's a creamy cleanser and it's really, really nice. Let's see. Has of this one, by the way, I think I'm at like 950 or 952, something like that. I have to update the last picture on my Instagram. But yeah, so I definitely think I'm going to hit my thousand goal, which is awesome. I finished the Colgate Max Fresh. I really did not like this at all. Ugh, it was so nasty. Let me put this stuff in here. I have like no space to put anything. Okay, next is the La, Ro La Roche Pochet Pigment Clear Serum. This was a nice serum. I liked it. It was a free sample. I got it uh, CVS and then also the corrector. Um, I did notice a little bit of fading on my acne scarring. So I think that this may actually do an amazing job if you use it for a long period of time. Use the Bosha Detoxifying Black Cleanser. This does an okay job. I think it would be better for oily skin, but it's okay. Talked about this a hundred times. The Sephora Instant Moisturizer. It's okay, but I like a thicker, thicker formula. I've also used the Shiseido Ultimune Power Infusion Concentrate, and I really, really love that as well. I did get a deluxe size in... Um, a Sephora kit, I just got the Skin Wonderland set. So if you're interested in trying that for a reasonable price, definitely check out um, that video, Sephora Favorites video I just posted, and uh, get that set before it disappears. This is the Murad Invisibler Perfecting Shield. It's like an SPF. I actually really liked it. Um, it was a little bit more creamy, not as... Um, uh, thin or watery has most like SPF kind of products. I liked it and I also like this the philosophy time in a bottle for eyes Which is an eye age defying eye serum. So I really like that This I liked as well. It was the face shop chia seed moisture holding seed cream. That was really good um, Pumpkin cupcake scent portable from Bath and Body Works. I really liked it um I think I just used another one, I can't remember. Then um, the Donna Karen Cashmere Mist, I was not a fan of it, that's why there's that left. Ugh. And then I used the ENJ Nirvana Black. This was good, it's not something I'll purchase, but eh, it was alright. And then I finished the uh, Juice Organic Brightening Shampoo and Conditioner. I absolutely detested this, it dried my, it dried my hair out, and um, yeah, no, no. And then I used today, what you're seeing on my hair, the Acure Repairing Conditioner and Shampoo Moroccan Argan Stem Cell plus Argan Oil. And this stuff, honestly, 
feels like it saved my hair from all of that suave and that juice organics. My hair has been a mess for weeks. One use of this, that's all about that there was in these things. They're like half air and I need a lot. Um, and my hair feels back to life. So thank you, Akira. Um, I believe that just came in my Target Beauty box. So that air, my empties, um, I do, like I said, I filmed on Monday. I'm going to try to put that one with this video. If I can't, then you saw this separately. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Happy emptying, and I'll talk to you later.